Hi and welcome to the fifth section of this course, sharing content in your website. In the previous section, you built user registration and authentication into your website. You learned how to create a custom profile model for your users and you added social authentication to your site with major social networks. In this section, you'll learn how to create a JavaScript bookmarklet to share content from other sites into your website. And you'll implement Ajax features into your project using jQuery and Django. This section will demonstrate the following topics. Creating many-to-many -many relationships. Customizing behavior for forms. Using jQuery with Django. Building a jQuery bookmarklet. Generating image thumbnails using SORL thumbnail. Implementing Ajax views and integrating them with jQuery. Creating custom decorators for views. Building Ajax pagination. Now we'll see the first video of section 5. Creating an image bookmarking website. We're going to allow users to bookmark and share images they find in other websites and share them in our site. For this, we'll need to do a few tasks. Define a model to store images and their information. Create a form and a view to handle image uploads. Build a system for users to be able to post images they find in external websites. First, create a new application inside your bookmarks project directory with this command. Add images to the installed apps setting in the settings.py file like this code. Now Django knows that the new application is active. Building the image model. Edit the models.py file of the images application and add the selected code to it. This is the model we're going to use to store images bookmarked from different sites. Let's take a look at the fields of this model. User. The user object that bookmarked this image. This is a foreign key field because it specifies a one-to-many relationship. A user can post multiple images, but each image is posted by a single user. Title. A title for the image. Slug. A short label containing only letters, numbers, underscores or hyphens to be used for building beautiful SEO-friendly URLs. URL. The original URL for the image. Image. The image file. Description. An optional description for the image. Created, the date time that indicates when the object has been created in the database. Since we use auto underscore now underscore add, this date time is automatically set when the object is created. We use db underscore index is equal to true so that Django creates an index in the database for this field. Database indexes improve query performance. Consider setting db underscore index is equal to true for fields that you frequently query using filter, exclude or order by. Foreign key fields or fields with unique is equal to true imply the creation of an index. You can also use meta.index underscore together to create indexes for multiple fields. We're going to override the save method of the image model to automatically generate the slug field based on the value of the title field. Import the slugify function and add a save method to the image model by using this code. In this code, we use the slugify function provided by Django to automatically generate the image slug for the given title when no slug is provided. Then we save the object. We'll generate slugs for images automatically so that users don't have to enter a slug for each image. Creating many-to-many -many relationships. Now we're going to add another field to the image model to store the users that like an image. We'll need a many-to-many -many relationship in this case because a user might like multiple images and each image can be liked by multiple users. Add the selected field to the image model. When you define a many-to-many -many field, Django creates an intermediary join table using the primary keys of both models. The many-to-many -many field can be defined in any of the two related models. As with foreign key fields, the related underscore name attribute of many-to-many -many fields allows us to name this relationship from the related object back to this one. Many-to-many -many fields provide a many-to-many -many manager that allows us to retrieve related objects such as image.users underscore like dot or or from a user object such as user.images underscore liked.all. Open the command line and run this command to create an initial migration. You should see the output as the same as on the screen. Now run this command to apply your migration. You'll get an output that includes this line. The image model is now synced to the database. Registering the image model in the administration site. Edit the admin.py file of the images application and register the image model into the administration site like this selected code. 
start the development server with the command python manage.py run server. Open the local host in your browser and you'll see the image model in the administration site like this. Awesome, we've successfully created an image bookmarking website.